Hello, I'm Mucho Man Randy Passion, and I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Are you a beginning player that wants to improve quickly? Do you want to develop a consistent punish game? If you answered yes to one or both of those questions, then I've got something for you. And that something is the two-piece. A two-piece is what I call a simple combo of two moves. And learning these two pieces, these simple combos of two moves, simplifies your punish game and gives you a clear path of improvement and things to learn. And if you can get these two pieces down, then you'll have a consistent punish game, which means a strong punish game. And that means that you don't need to win neutral as often. You need less neutral victories in order to take a stock. This also gives you a game plan. If you have your two pieces down, you now have a consistent way to take stocks and deal damage. And having a solid command of these two pieces is especially important in the floaty matchups, like, like against Samus, against Puff, against Luigi, where really a two-piece combo, just two hits, is all you're going to get most of the time. Instead of worrying about hitting complex combos, you know, multiple combos that require a lot of inputs, require a lot of different decisions, instead, start simple with these basic two pieces. And now often these two pieces are going to follow the format of launcher to finisher. So for example, falcon, stomp, knee, chic, dash attack to fair, fox, up throw to up air, falco, up tilt to bear, and many more. And as a quick aside, not all two pieces have to follow the format of launcher to finisher. Some can essentially act as a launcher themselves. And having some launcher to finisher two pieces down is important, as it gives you a way to at least get your opponent off stage rather than going for a complex combo, dropping it, and getting nothing off of it. You might be aware of your character's optimal combo starters, optimal combo routes, optimal extensions, all that stuff. But the best combo is always the one you can consistently perform. These two pieces are not only much easier to practice and integrate into your gameplay than those more complex combos, but you can also organically turn them into three or even four pieces by adding extensions. Mastering a few two pieces will give your punish game a strong foundation, allowing you to experiment with different options, percent ranges, and character types. And after learning and practicing these two-piece combos, you'll now actually get to meaningfully punish your opponent when playing melee. And the practice part is very important. If you have the combos in your muscle memory, you'll be able to consistently land them in real games, and especially in games where the pressure is on. You may know that Stomp Knee, Fox Up Throw to Up Air, and the other two pieces I've mentioned and shown are good combos, but can you hit them 9 times out of 10? 10 times out of 10? Can you hit them in a last knock, last hit scenario in game 5 or game 3 of a set? If you answer no, then you need to be practicing these more, because mastering them is one of the most important parts of this. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps some of you think about punish game, think about how to approach it, as well as I, you know, I hope that helps you make some meaningful improvement in your melee gameplay. Thank you for watching.